Good morning, guys. I'm sitting here. You just seen? I'm doing laundry. Ugh. The washer's going beside me, so it might be loud. But that's okay. I'm gonna go put Jesse's clothes in his drawers. We keep his underwear and stuff like that in the living room because it's easier for me to just get to during the day. Okay, I had to stop filming because the TV was really loud, but I turned it down. So I'm just running around the house cleaning up because after the weekend, the house always needs a good cleaning. <laughs> Got laundry going, picking up just clutter that's been thrown around all weekend. Just is in there playing. Devin's awake, he's getting ready to take a shower. We gotta go to the store and get some grocery stuff, some produce and things like that that we gotta restock on. <laughs> I got to throw out something for dinner. Hmm, what do I wanna make later? Probably some kind of chicken. I love chicken. Yeah, I'll put out some chicken breast, I guess, and I'll cook it somehow later. But yeah, so today, my goals for today, since I'm in recovery mode from the craft fair, I gotta figure out what to do with all this craft fair uh, leftover stuff to save it for another one or whatever. And then I gotta deal with this, my whips and stuff. I wanna go through it and figure out if I wanna finish any of it or frog some of it. Do that so that I can get started on things that I wanna work on. I want to start working on some just random amigurumis because I miss making amigurumis and uh, I can just make them and put them in my big bag of stuff for the next craft fair and I need to work on figuring you know working on a Facebook page business page and uh, putting amigurumis in my Etsy shop that's a big task though. I may have to wait for that till when Jesse's not here because I'll have to set up a place to take photos and take a lot of photos and stuff and that's that's hard to do with a kid running around but yeah, so I'll try to vlog some, some today because I haven't actually vlogged in like four days. <laughs> just clips. Okay. We just got back from the pharmacy. We had to get Devin's uh, insurance stuff straightened out. They had his old, 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 old insurance on his file from when he was on 10 care when he was like 12. <laughs> but um, we got it straightened out. I got his medicine. So he started taking it today and... Um, you know, we'll be able to try it out and see if it helps him. Anyways, uh, we went to Walmart. I got some fabric. I'm excited to show you guys what I got. It's, was it last year? Or the year before that? I can't remember. The first time I started making bags. Was that last year? I don't remember. But I made dog and cat Christmas ones and they were really popular. They had some of that fabric, so I bought some. They're in fat quarters, so it's kind of hard to show you. Let me see if I can rip it with one hand. I'm trying. Okay. This is the dog print that was really popular back then. Just Christmas dogs. And I got some liner for it. Um, the bones. I think I got enough to make three sets of each of these. And then the other one that was really popular, that was like the first update I did where I sold a ton of bags. And that's what motivated me to keep making bags, was that Christmas update that year. Oh, I'm, unru I'm unrolling it. This one, I can't remember if this is the same print. I think it is, but it's cats. I called it festive cats, I remember that. I didn't get a liner for that because I have a ton of generic Christmas prints that I thought I could mine it. Because the only one, the only other animal one they had that wasn't dog bones was paw prints, but it was on black material, and this is why so I thought it would show through really bad. So, uh, I'm just going to pick out one of my Christmassy prints. But I got enough, let's see here, to make a few sets. One, two, three, one, two, Three. Yeah, I got enough to make two or three sets of each, and then notion pouches for them. And uh, if I can get some more of that material before uh, I quit sewing for the season, the year, <laughs> I will. But I know those were really the cat ones were especially popular. Whenever I made those, I can't remember if that was last year or the year before that. I think it was last year. But um, Devin just left for work. I got laundry still going. I got the dishwasher I need to empty. I need to go take a shower because I need to wash my hair. I got some new shampoo and conditioner today to try. Uh, 
I'm trying to figure out what I need to do. I was talking to Dan, I was like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do because um, I'm not prepping for a craft fair anymore. I want to get started on cutting the Christmas material this week because my goal is to just start sewing between like now and beginning of November and then post all the Christmas bags all at once. I want to, my goal is to make like 40 sets and more if I can and get them all posted the same day and up and then that'll be the last update until January or early February next year. Um, Cause that, that Christmas bag set is what we will do the majority of our Christmas at home with. Um, you know, obviously if I sell all of them, that'll be uh, extra bill money towards uh, the hospital bills. And uh, the, I told Devin, cause we don't usually do a lot of stuff for ourselves for Christmas. We mostly, you know, we buy Jesse stuff and we do stockings and some, some years we do stockings for each other. And some years we do gifts for each other, but like little things. And this year we weren't planning on doing anything for us, uh, just Jesse. But if I can get those Christmas bags up and sold, then we will go ahead and do uh, little gifts for each other. I'll, uh, you know, we'll make a budget and we'll shop for each other. Because it's, it's fun to just buy little things for each other. Even if we can't afford, like, big awesome things, it's still fun to do little things that we know each other will like. And I, I already have Jesse's main Christmas gifts bought and wrapped and in the closet. <laughs> I just have to get the rest of his stocking stuffers. I got a few stocking stuffers already. I gotta get something for my nephew and all most other people we're doing is just gonna be money because they're teenagers <laughs> and then my in-laws it's always hard to buy for them uh, we usually get them like gift cards or something sentimental like um, collage frames or something with pictures already in them might get them a gift card this year. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to figure it all out before. I'd like to get it done before Halloween Christmas shopping, but I don't think I'm going to be able to because um, of the bag update, you know. I could probably finish everybody else's before Halloween. But we like to be done before the holidays because uh, then we can just chill and not have to worry about anything. But yeah, we'll figure that out. I'm going to figure out something to do because I need to. I want to eat something. I'm hungry. And then I need to watch a ton of YouTube videos because I haven't watched any since, I think, Friday. Because I was preparing for the craft fair. And then the Saturday was the craft fair. And then Sunday was uh, my day with Devin and Jesse. So today's Monday, the 14th, which is a holiday. Which, it's Columbus Day, which is kind of weird that they even celebrate that anymore because of all the drama attached to Christopher Columbus. But whatever. <laughs> um, so the banks and all that's closed. I couldn't do anything. Post office is closed. Couldn't do anything post office today. So I'm just going to hop off here, get something to eat, and probably watch some YouTube videos while I'm eating. And then I need to, I think I really want to go through my whips and see where I'm at with all those. And then I want to start making some more stuff. Um, I want to finish my Christmas skirt, tri Christmas tree skirt, because I want to use it this year. I already gave my old one to my sister to use. And I told her if she ended up not using it to give it back to me so that I can use it for our other tree when we get a house. Because I can guarantee you when we get a house that has more rooms, we're going to have multiple Christmas trees. The one that we have now, that big giant flocked one that looks like it's been snowed on. I love that tree, but we're kind of tired of cleaning up after it. So that will be like a tree that's in a room when we get a house that's not used, like touched a lot so it doesn't fall apart. I want to get one new tree, but I was going to get one this year, but we're... Um, we're gonna wait until probably we get a house. I want to get one of those that look like it has ice crystals on it and like berries and pine cones. I really like those. I don't know. I'm blabbing now. So I'm gonna hop off here and eat because I'm hungry. Hey guys. I did a horrible job at recording today. <laughs> That's okay though. I'm gonna move my hands. I think my microphone's on that side. But, um, it's pretty late. It's, it's pretty late. <laughs> Jesse's in his room. Uh, he's he's been staying up late lately, and I, I know I probably should get him off of that, but I don't think it's a big deal until he gets closer to school age. <laughs> Ain't even gonna worry about it. But um, I cleaned the house a lot today. I did cut some Christmas fabric because I'm trying to, you know, I want to slowly get that done and then start sewing them and then upload them all at once. Is my plan in November sometime. <laughs> um, there's gonna be a lot of Christmas bags. I don't even know how many yet, but I cut six I think out today 
six project bags with their casings and the uh, the outside fabric for the notions pouches. Um, I want to cut all the outers first and then I can see what I need to go back and make liners for. That's the plan at least. I got a big stack of Christmas material right there and I've got uh, the dog and cat material over there somewhere. I haven't even opened it all yet. But uh, I cooked dinner. I tried a new thing today. It was like a barbecued chicken tostada or something like that. I can't remember. It was pretty good. Uh, it's definitely probably going to go on the rotation. And me and Devin was talking on his lunch break about um, different ways we could, you know, use like steak or something and uh, strips and make like um, steak taco versions and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I took a shower. My hair is starting, it's like halfway dry. My hair takes so long to dry, and I don't like to air dry it with a blow dryer. Uh, I like to let it just dry. Because uh, if I blow dry it, it fluffs out. <laughs> and I don't need that. But um, I tried a new shampoo and conditioner. I'm trying to treat myself or whatever. I, I used to, you know, I grew up not necessarily poor, but not wealthy <laughs> low middle class maybe and uh you know my mom always did everything she could to save uh money so i grew up with that mentality and uh me and devin still does that now but um i just i used to only use a certain kind of shampoo and it made my hair always feel um oily almost like it was always dirty even if i'd washed it so i told devin i'm gonna start buying like um better <laughs> products since it's just me and him that we buy for because Jesse, we use Devin's products on him. So, um, I just, you know, I bought some, in my, in my opinion, expensive shampoo and conditioner today. The set, it came in a set of, you know, each, and it was like $8 or something, and that's a lot of money for me. But it'll last me forever, because I only use a little bit of both. It, it takes me forever to go through, um, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, because I only use, like, a little tiny bit every time. Um. Unlike Devin, who uses like half the bottle every time. It seems like we're always buying him stuff. Anyways, um, so I took a shower and used my new shampoo and conditioner. So I'll know tomorrow if my hair feels different. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Me and Jesse sat here forever and listened to music. And he was dancing in the floor. He wanted me to dance with him, but I didn't feel too good. So I didn't. <laughs> I used to dance with him all the time. And I still do sometimes, but uh, I'm just... I tired all the time it seems like now but um yeah I was cleaning the kitchen I just washed all the random dishes that can't really fit in the dishwasher <laughs> right now the top rack of our dishwasher seems to fill up really fast and um so I always have to wash uh, plastic things and all that at the end of the night and I got Devin's dinner for him it's in the refrigerator I, I, need, I got a load of laundry I need to go do, but I'll probably wait and leave that there for tomorrow. It's in the dryer. <laughs> but um, I do have a load of towels I need to wash tomorrow, so I guess I'll do all that at some point. Uh, I got to run some errands tomorrow, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Today was like a bank holiday, so nothing really got done today. So I might do it tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> Depends on how I feel in the morning. But I didn't, I didn't hardly film at all today, so maybe I'll do better tomorrow. <laughs> um, I crocheted a little bit today on my Christmas tree skirt, but for some reason the hook was hurting in my hand. Uh, it's, it's using a K hook, so it's a pretty big hook, but um, it just, it was rubbing, you know, it's my other hand, but it was rubbing this part of my hand. And I tried one of my polymer clay hooks, and it was still rubbing. And then I tried just the regular metal hook, and it was rubbing. And I don't know why. It seems like the big hooks always irritate my hands more than the little hooks. Which is kind of weird, because most people complain the other way around. Uh, they complain about the little hooks hurting their hands compared to the big ones. But I don't know if it's... I feel like maybe it's... I don't know. It just, it's just rubbing me, and I felt like it was going to leave a blister maybe, and it was just making my hand cramp. So I only did like one and a half row on my tree skirt before I was like, you know, this is uncomfortable. I'm not going to do it. So I'll put it down, but I really want to finish that. So I'm thinking about, um, I don't want to start it over, but it's not super far in. So I think if I change the hook size now a little bit, it won't be too big of a deal because the part that's with the K would be up and underneath the tree, way up and underneath the tree. So I don't know if I'm going to change the hook or if I'm going to try to get a, a different hook. I love Susan Bay hooks cause I like the way the, the, 
the hook part of it is pointy, you know. Um, so I might have to try to maybe get one of the wooden handle ones that they sell at Hobby Lobby and see if um, that helps. I don't know. I have to do something because I want to finish that. <laughs> I need to finish it because I don't have a tree skirt um, anymore. Brr. I don't know why it's hurting my hand though. Because that's the same pattern I made a few years ago. And I don't remember it hurting my hand then, but maybe it did. I just don't remember. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I need to ad address the whips like I talked about. I'm trying to think of what's all in there. I know a few things in there. And some of them I just don't want to finish right now. I'd like to get caught up on my Jada and Stitches folk art blanket. I might work on that this week. Hmm. And I'm also super behind on the unraveled mitten squares. Hmm. I got a lot of stuff I need to catch up on. I don't really want to catch up on any of it though. And earlier I was trying to think of something I could start crocheting. Uh, I just... I think I'm just like in a, a mental place where I'm just wanting to take like a break from crochet. I'll probably just stick to cutting fabric in the next few days and think a lot about what I want to do and what I want to finish in there and all that jazz. But I got plenty of fabric <laughs> to cut out, uh, plenty of bags to cut out and get ready to start sewing so I can stay busy, I think. <laughs> all right, hold on just a second. Jesse's hollering for me, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here, and I will see you guys tomorrow.